that's us leaving St Bees and the Irish Sea and uh, next water we see, ocean we see, sea that we see will be the North Sea and we get to Robin Hood's Bay saying that, I'm going to be skirting along this for a wee, wee bit yet but yeah, next one after today that's the star point just down there I think I'm pointing to it you know, the uh, RNLI place it's gone 2 o'clock already and it's pretty hot today so if I get to Dent Hill I'll be happy I don't know how much justice this GoPro is doing it but it's not long till the, uh, you get off the coast till you see this beautiful Lake District Mountains uh, tomorrow I will be in the thick of them cannot wait lovely weather today uh, not as hot as uh, I thought it would be I said it was going to be 30 degrees, very humid don't get me wrong, I've sweated like a pig but uh, there's quite a nice cool breeze now oh, I'm guessing that's obviously because we're right on the seafront and I didn't start walking till 2 so most of the heat of the day had gone I was probably peaking around then right so I'm going to push on I'm going to try and get past Cleta up to uh, Dent Fell or Dent Hill and I'll probably stop there depends how I feel and what time it is Right, morning of day two I kept about where it says uh, waypoint 14 gate that little bridge there if you can make it out uh, that's where I am so I've just got to go up that stream and then that'll bring me out there and then I'll be in Ennerdale I'm about a mile, mile and a half maybe it's two miles away from Ennerdale uh, I got ya last night about eight-ish because I set off after two I was absolutely knackered and then as you can see on the tent it absolutely pissed it down <laughs> so just managed to get the tent up as it was starting jumped in it and then uh, yeah heavens opened so yeah it didn't film anything it was knackered just went to sleep so it's about 10 to 6 now let me get up pack away it's a nice little stretch across Ennerdale water Ennerdale lake just following this track we'll push on till we get to the river Leeser I think it is and then we're going to have a little rest there replen water all that good stuff so I'll see you there so I made it to the far shore of uh, Ennerdale water as you can see just stopped here, top my water up, just uh, having a juice now, probably top it up again before I go. Having some nuts and a Snickers, just give me some energy, I am lagging today. Oh, took me ages that, it was very slow. Uh, I think it's just, we always suffer on the first three days, third day is the worst coming on. Well, usually, <coughs> usually it's coming on now. I don't feel how I did on the uh, Cleveland way when I had to sack it. I felt absolutely terrible, so <laughs> I should be alright. Just got to push through. Push through the first three days, and after that, it'll be alright. And this is the reason why I do these walks. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Uh, I'm still on my way to Black Sail, Boffy. Not Boffy, sorry, uh, Youth Hostel. Hopefully, it's not too far now. Just gonna have another quick water break. It's getting hot. I am dehydrated. So, there's Black Sail Youth Hostel. Um, apparently, the whole thing's booked out, so can't even use the box because private party. 
Uh, don't you use in the bogs in case you spread coronavirus. Right. I don't know if I can do that past today. I'm knackered. It's only quarter to two, like, so... I think I might push on. If I find somewhere nice to camp, I think I'm just going to stop for the day. Have some scoff. Sort my admin out and have an early night. Very early at this rate. But, um We'll see. That does look a bit daunting. I've got to go. See if I'm pointing to it. Up there. Doesn't look that bad on the camera actually. Right, we'll push on, I'll make a decision in a minute. Right, so I've made my decision. I found this little grassy bit between a couple of mounds. I'm just gonna put my tent up down there, um, round about here somewhere. There's a little stream just here yeah, running through. So I've got water. Um, I'm absolutely knackered if I'm honest with you. So I'm going to get myself fed and watered, Edmund, good night's sleep, and then um, see if I can smash out 16 miles tomorrow. Um, if I can't, I can't, but that's, that's, that's what the aim will be. 16 miles tomorrow. So we've done about 11 today, about 12 yesterday, something like that. So, yeah, this is a, this is a hard walk, I'll tell you. Uh, I'm not as fit as I was when I did the pen anyway, but still, this is hard. Not much better settings for a campsite though. Don't worry, I've got shorts on, I'm not sat here in the nutty. So, uh, got this spaghetti bolognese. It's actually really nice. Um, Expedition Foods. Yeah, it's really nice. They're not the cheapest, but as you can see, the um, expiry date's quite long on them. <coughs> and it don't taste like shit. So that's good. Got me a little uh, mocha. And then after that, I'm probably, even though I think it's only half four, I'm probably going to go to bed because I am knackered. Obviously, tent set up. Young couple are passled, passed on, passled. Young couple are passed on the first day. They've just um, walked down the track there. Do you see it there? So <coughs> they've overtaken me again. Should be fair. I'm not bothered about. It's not a race. Might catch up to them. You never know. Right, catch you in the morning. Right, morning. Right, morning guys. Um, it's been raining all night, but it sounds like it's stopped. So I'm gonna take this opportunity, get up, get packed, and get going. It's just gone seven, it's about, I don't know, 20 past seven. Right, morning. It's uh, raining again. And fortunately, I thought we were going up that bad boy, but we're not, we're going up there, which, isn't as bad but I'm still gonna be blowing. So I'm hoping honest it's a Sunday. It says in the book that Honest the Slate Mine is open seven days a week, but I don't know because of coronavirus. I'm hoping it is because I want a bacon bat or something. I need some energy. I have got my trail foods but I've only got three of it, one. I kinda wanna save them in case I need them later on. So if it's a bit shaky, film this bit on my phone. Right, I'm going to push on, get the top of that pass. Right, sorry about the wind noise and the shakiness, I'm on the phone again. So we've made it up the top of this pass, or most of it anyway. Got a little bit left to go, and then it's a bit of a ridge walk, and then downhill, steep downhill to uh, Honest the Slate Mine. It's 10 past 9 now, so hopefully it'll be open. It says it opens at 9, so I should get there for about, I don't know, 10, half 10. Maybe it's a bit later. Not sure if I will make it a grass meet a day, you know. I'm going to have to see how I feel. Once I get some fuel in me, hopefully, up at the uh, slate mine, I should feel a bit better. If not, I'm going to have to have another one of them meals. But like I said, I'm trying not to, in case there's a situation like yesterday again where I need it. Anyway, if there's no other option, that means I do need it, you know what I mean. 
Right, gotta crack on. Sorry about the views, no I can do about that. Right, I've just got I've just come from that way. Rain stopped temporarily. It's constantly on and off. But the views have opened up. So you can see down at the bottom here and all that. There's fleet with pike over there. None of my torn will be over there somewhere, next to haystacks. Just down where you can see the old scars of the mines, you can just make out the uh, boffy, which I've stayed in back in December. I was pissing it down then as well. So we'll follow this track and eventually get down to uh, the slate mine. Uh, it come from down there, down that valley, obviously coming up here, following the river of the gill. Beautiful waterfall. I am. Still got all that way to go yet. I'll bring you back when I'm at the top. So I lied. We're not at the top, but how beautiful is that, man? Nice place is any to stop and have me ham and cheese sandwich that I got from uh, Hoddesdon Slate Mine. So. Where the track crosses there, I'm just going to stop over that side, get some water as well while I'm here because I'm nearly empty, have a bit of a rest before I tackle that. There's another climb after that as well. So we've come from the top of there, lovely waterfall there, and then we're going to push around the corner and drop down into Grasmere, or is it Easendale or something like that, and then push on from there to Grasmere, which is about a 10 minute walk from there. I'd say about 10 past, 20 past 5, so hopefully down there for 20 past 6. I can start to see signs of life, uh, civilization now. <laughs> 